Hi you guys! Today's video is exciting because I have had so many requests for this video so I thought, well I think it would be fun, so let's do it! As the title says, this video is all about my top 10 favorite MAC lipsticks. Now I did a top 5 favorite MAC lipsticks like a few years ago so I thought it would be fun since it's requested to just do an updated version and do 10 of them. So I've got 10 of my absolute favorite MAC lipsticks that I rotate and wear constantly. Um, a lot of them will seem very similar. Chewy wants to say hi. Say hi. Hi people. Hi Weeb. I'm just talking about your lipstick. <laughs> Are you finished with your attention getting? Can mommy do her video? Let's get into this. My first one that I want to talk about is uh, Max Twig. Now this is a perfect, it's what I'm wearing if I didn't say it. It is a perfect everyday mauve shade and it is a satin so it lasts a very, very long time. Max Satin and oh, two little pigeons flew in front of the window. Oh my goodness. No, Chewy, don't scare them off. You know they have partners for life. I know a lot of people don't like pigeons, but I love all animals. <gasps> so cute. Okay, distraction over. But anyway, here it is swatched on my hand. It's just the perfect everyday color. So this next shade is very similar to Twig. It is Max Mare, and I got this not too long ago, and I haven't been able to put it down. If Twig is too dark for you, then you will love Mare. It is like a lighter, pinkier version of Twig. So here is Mare and then here is twig, and then here is a cut on my hand that I got from laundry. Because what do you know, you can be injured doing your laundry. This next one is one of my favorite all time, like go to, I don't go, I can't think about what I'm gonna wear today. It is Max Velvet Teddy. Now this is like twigs, nude, like nudie, nudier sister. And this is a, a matte. Um, I forgot to say mare, what are you, mare? is a matte too. I love Max mattes and satins, they're my favorites. I don't even remember, did I say that already? If I did, whatever. There's some of the best formulas like literally on the market if you ask me for wear time, the way they uh, go on your lips, those pigeons are back. I don't know if we're gonna get through this. So this next shade I believe every girl should own. It is Max Blankety. It is the perfect your lips but better shade. Now this is an amplified formula. I love the, ampli I love the, blah, 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 the amplified formula because it's like it, the smoothness of a cream sheen but you get more um, color payoff. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Now this one is much more nude than the other ones, but still has enough color in there to not make you look like a ghost. Now I think there is a running theme here, <laughs> like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So if you don't like seeing swatches of some of the similar same shades and then just compared, you're probably not gonna like this video. This is Max Modesty. This is like Blankety's Cream Sheen Sister. I say cream sheen because that's the formula. It's a little bit warmer. So here is Blankety and here is Modesty. Um, they're two very beautiful shades. This one pout, pouts out the mouth, nudes out the mouth just a bit more. Now this next shade is a shade that I have literally loved for years. And we're gonna just focus. I forgot if I even said it. It's Max Cherish. It's what I have on. Oh gosh. <coughs> Pigeons barking, tickling in the throat. Come. Oh, I know. But we must soldier on, right? Um, anyway, Cherish is a perfect your lips but better with um, a satin finish and it's just beautiful. It's even more beautiful with um, a lip liner. Mm -hmm. um, just a great color to have in your collection. So here is Cherish next to all those. <laughs> all these look the same but not really. It looks like just a rainbow of nice pinky nudes, my kind of colors. So here's one that's a little bit different. Now this is a shade that you definitely need lip liner. I mean, look at me. But this is Max Flesh Pot. It is a beautiful, beautiful, um, like pale out 60s kind of nude, but it's great over liner. Like I cannot explain to you, like if you want just a really beautiful pouty um, kind of uh, faking fuller lips with lip liner and this, it's just gorgeous. It is Myths. Um, cooler toned sister, so I just love Flesh Pot. I like it a little more than Myth. Um, here is Flesh Pot. It's just really beautiful. Again, it is cooler and pinker toned. Now this next one is actually a glaze formula. I forgot to say that, um, hmm, 
Flesh Pot is a satin finish, but this one is a glaze, which means it is, um, you know, shinier, it looks a little bit like you got gloss on, and it doesn't last as long. But this next to Flesh Pot is, it's just a little bit pinkier and glazier, if you ask me. So there they are together. So it's almost even lighter than Flesh Pot, and a little bit, I don't know, is it peachier? It looks weird next to Flesh Pot. It's kind of hard to describe. But a really, again, a gorgeous pale mouth with um, lip liner. You need lip liner or you're going to look like this. Okay, so this next nude is a little bit different. It is Max Sis and I love this with stone or strip down or something like that. It's just a very warm uh, type of nude that's, it'll, it's just a little bit different. It's, it's, it takes a little bit of um, getting used to. It's just a really nice tan nude and it really plumps up the lips and is gorgeous with lip liner. And it's one of, did I already say this? My all time favorite nudes because it's different and it just gives a nice color to the mouth. And last but surely not least, this is actually again one of my favorite all time lipsticks of all time old time. It is Max Spirit. I love this lipstick. You guys hear me rave about it all the time. And there is good reason for that because it's perfect. It is perfect. It makes your lips look plump. And as you can see, it's, you know, a little bit warmer toned than what we all have going on here. Um, but I love this lipstick and it's just very, you know, up there on the, my pyramid of lipsticks. I just love it. Look at it. Mm, I love Spirit so much. But seriously, isn't it perfect? It just, I don't know. It just gives such life to the face and it's just that perfect everyday neutral lip um, without looking too pink or too warm or anything. It's just right in that perfect zone. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 MAC lipsticks of all time. And I will say, I, like, I love high-end products. I love high-end lipsticks. But seriously, MAC has some of my favorite formulas and favorite lipsticks of all time that even though I have all these high-end lipsticks and lip products and stuff like that, I reach for my MAC lipsticks the most out of anything. You just can't beat them and, you know, yeah, there might be a nicer formula out there that might have anti-aging and like all this fancy stuff, which I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But MAC just time and time again makes the most original um, shades that just are so flattering. So if you can't find your shade, you walk into MAC, you'll find your shade. You know what I'm saying? So I really enjoyed doing this video. I love videos like this. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. did. And I would love to hear what your favorite MAC lipsticks are, especially if they haven't been listed here today. But let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this and your favorite MAC lipstick. Just tell me your favorite of all time MAC lipstick because there are so many and I have so many more, but these are my top 10 that I had to just give the crowning glory. <laughs> all right, I'll stop yakking at y'all and I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys. Hi, you guys, and happy Monday. Can you believe it's already Monday? I cannot. And I hope all of you who are mothers had a wonderful Mother's Day and just had a great day to relax and do what you wanted and not worried about too many things.